Good evening. Before we start the session on education, we have something very special. We talked about many changes happening in the world. Do you know what is the foremost change, the most fundamental change? It is a fact that today the young do not learn anymore from the old, but the young teach the old what really is going on in our world. Just look at the iPad, I or at my computer. If I need help, I call on my son. I don't call on our technicians. That's the new world. And in order to create this cross-mentoring and to engage the young people, we have created this fantastic community of Global Shapers. And today, in a short time, we have 210 different hubs around the world. Over 40 in Africa alone of active Global Shapers. And this was all possible and made possible thanks to the engagement of forum partners and particularly two partners whom I have the pleasure to present to you. Mr. Muta Kent, whom I don't have to present, the chairman and chief executive of Coca-Cola and even more relevant in this context, the co-chair of the annual meeting 2013 and the chairman of the International Business Council. And Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Ambani is the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries in India. Two great partners and I call on you um, you would like to first? Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Glosh. In my years at the World Economic Forum, right, we've partnered with Glosh on many initiatives, but uh, the Global Shapers Initiative is one that I am particularly enthused. It's very, very special to all of us at Reliance because Reliance is an Indian company and uh, we in India have one of the youngest populations in the world. And I think that youth and particularly our young people can shape not only their own future, but can shape a future of collective humanity. And that is why, Klosh, let me congratulate you and the World Economic Forum for such a splendid initiative. It's early days. We have uh, got 240 hubs all over the world. Working with uh, Coca-Cola and Reliance, uh, we are pretty committed to making sure that this goes deep uh, in particularly the developed world. And uh, sharing my own personal experience, I think that for some of us as leaders, it's important that we now get used to being led by the global shaping community than always leading. And I think that that is what uh, you have achieved, and as a world, the world is changing completely. Uh, when we grew up, none of us were connected. I think that in the next uh, 20 years, all seven billion people will be connected, and you have an opportunity to really create a new future 
an empowered future where you can be thought leaders. And we at Reliance are very excited to support this initiative. We are very committed to make it deep, not only in India, but across the world, and have uh, great expectations out of this initiative, and particularly the 20 and below 30-year-olds who will, I am sure, build a great future for humanity in the coming years. So here's wishing this initiative all the very best. And let me now call upon Mukhtar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mukesh and um, Klaus. And uh, it gives me really tremendous honor and pleasure to stand up here in front of you and to say to all of you that this great initiative, which Klaus and I talked about, um, in Geneva about two years ago, uh, and it took me three seconds to say yes, uh, this is a really good initiative, and count me in as the first supporter of this program. And um, with, after less than two years, here we are standing with, um, the, to me, the single biggest difference between this year's World Economic Forum meeting uh, in 2013, and the previous ones was the participation of these 50 global shapers. To me, one of the biggest issues and challenges in front of all of us as we try to reimagine growth in the world collectively as business, as civil society, as governments, both national and subnational, the biggest challenge that in, uh, in, uh, remains in front of us is to find a solution to the 70 million unemployed, below 28 year age unemployed. Youth unemployment is the single biggest challenge that could really create cracks in the social fabric all around the world, emerging markets, Western markets. And listening to this group, there is so much learning. It is so exciting. Their expectations of the world are different than ours. Their view of the world and business is different than ours. Their levels of courage are different than ours. Their risk-taking ability and execution ability is different than ours. And there's just tremendous amount of learning in a dialogue, in a really constructive dialogue. I had the honor to spend um, um, a few hours with them on Wednesday evening. It was fantastic and great. You leave with a tremendous amount of energy and uh, knowledge, uh, useful knowledge. And I also, uh, we also invited a number of uh, uh, young global shapers to come and, and, and uh, sit in on uh, part of the International Business Council meeting. And uh, I'm very thankful to Mukesh Ambani, who's also the early reliance, uh, who's uh, the early supporter. And we certainly look for more support as we build um, this coalition, this significantly important coalition. I am really, really excited about this journey. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now um, I would like to invite um, a representative of the Young Global Shapers community, uh, Megan Gunderman uh, from the United States. Megan. First, I want to thank Professor Schwab and the World Economic Forum, as well as our partners, for really giving us a seat at the table this year. It's been an incredible honor and opportunity to participate the last few, few days. Um, I learned about the Global Shapers about a year and a half ago and was intrigued because I had just moved back to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm from. And I was looking to engage in a group of people that cared more about just what was around them, but about the world. And that's what I found in the Global Shaper community. It's been an incredible honor to be in my local hub with people that are across industries. We've got a roboticist, we've got emergency medical doctor, we've got private equity, the NGO sector, federal and local government, and we're all under 30. And we bring a unique perspective to the world and to the conversation. And then this week, we're brought together from 50 different cities, 50 of us from 39 different countries to add value to the conversation that you guys are having. Um, the Charlotte Hub undertook uh, a business idea competition called Shape Charlotte uh, this year as our project. Uh, we, we recognized, as was very apparent this week in all the sessions, that youth unemployment really affected our generation and touched us. Um, whether it's 
the Foundation for Tomorrow Kids in Tanzania, or the young adults in Charlotte, North Carolina, it affects across borders. I've heard it in my Barclays Youth Unemployment Breakfast this morning. I heard it at the Arab World Context session that my fellow Shaper Dina participated in. Everybody's talking about it, but no one's finding a solution. And we wanted to be a part of that solution. So the Charlotte Hub undertook Shape Charlotte. It was a business idea competition that um, engaged the under 30 communities to submit business ideas that ha would have an impact on not only the community, but create jobs for the under 30 demographic. Our demographic has been hit harder than anybody else. Um, a study that I re read recently said 84% of our generation has put off a major life decision, like buying a house or getting married, because of this problem. Um, and it has ripple effects throughout our entire world. Um, our generation, though, doesn't sit on the sidelines, especially the group we have here at the forum this, this week. Um, we have an inherent desire to help society and be a part of the solution. Shape Charlotte wanted to capture that and find innovative solutions to youth unemployment. We wanted to engage our peers and make an impact on the community, but also have something that we focused on that also had global implications. Um, when we undertook our initiative, um, we had intense mentor sessions with leaders from our community for the six finalists, and then we had a um, we had the actual session where it was Shark Tank-esque, where we uh, really pushed these under 30s to look at their business plans, look whether or not they would truly create jobs in our community. In the end, we also engaged our Global Shapers community around the world. We put up the videos of their pitches, and people from 60 different hubs of the 210 voted. Um, with the help of Duke Energy and a lot of our other sponsors in our local hub, we were able to supply $15,000 worth of seed money. So that's just one way that we could have an impact, and we're really grateful for the World Economic Forum and um, you guys all sitting here for being willing to hear our voice and um, listen to it and hopefully act upon it. Um, I'd like to invite my fellow panelists up for a picture and then also the Global Shapers to show our support and our thanks.